How long you been skating, Ray? I'm 28 years. When did you start? About 28 years ago. How long you been skating? Stacy asked me a question, like how long you been skating? How long have you been skating? Six years. When did you, you start? Um, six years ago. I was just too lazy to do the math. But it's funny because for so long people would quote that to me. All this stuff right here, this long lens stuff, that's just basically Stacy saying, you want to do some flat ground tricks right here. The first part in uh, public domain, we went out with the crew. It was, you know, me, Chet Thomas, Steve Size, Eric Sanderson. And this time it was like, Ray, you're getting your own part. And Stacy was inspired by, you know, bigger production kind of things. So these cameras were big. It was before they had like the Sony handy cams. It was a labor of love for him to be dealing with, you know, these big cameras and dealing with, you know, the tape for them and everything. You know, it was definitely one of your higher end production approaches <laughs> that really I think during that time only Powell Prop was doing. I'm looking at the way it was edited too, like the timeline of it. Public Domain, its timeline was pretty true to when we skated things. This one's super like, it's all switched around or whatever. Stacy and those guys, that's the editing from the 80s. Back then it was hip. That trick right there was one that we got straight from Rodney Mullen. We call them gazelles. A lot of vert skaters were approaching street from a vert standpoint. Like let's do bonuses on the curbs, let's mimic the lip of a vert ramp where we got excited about, look what Rodney's doing. Like, how can we apply that to our board? It's not as coppice, it's Tommy Guerrero, it's Mark Gonzalez. They're kind of like Mount Rushmore cats of what inspired me to do what I'm doing. Rodney Mullen's right up in there too. The natural progression of things, talent along with technology, we end up where we are now. I think H Street was a good example of where it led into, where now you don't have to be Stacy Proud and have a budget to go put a video together. Now you can have all these kids, wherever they live, film each other, compile it together, and make a video. We're at a time where skateboarding's got history now, and a lot of kids coming in are learning that history because of YouTube, or because of their bigger brothers that have the big jobs now, but they come from skateboarding. One of the funnest aspects of filming Band This was just the time I spent with Stacy. It was me showing up to Stacy's office in Burbank and then hopping into Stacy's Volvo, us just cruising around LA. Stacy had the spots, which was pretty hip. <laughs> I think Stacy had an idea of the area where he wanted to have for a backdrop. And we'd just drive in there and we'd just kind of be like, what do you think about this spot? And I was just like, this is cool i just get out, and he'd just be down there filming. And then go down, and then he'd say, okay, do a couple more passes, you know. And the cool thing is, I had all this stuff wired, so we didn't stay there too crazy long. Some of those lines would just go through three times or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Filming back then, because everything was so new, it was like, there wasn't this idea of like, dude, we're gonna sit here forever to get this thing. We kept hitting things and going and moving. My approach to filming back then for a lot of this stuff, like if you're skating with your friends to a spot, meeting like a party or your friend's place where you're going to skate a mini ramp or something, and then you're skating and you just try to throw in tricks, and then if you bail, you just pick up your board and keep going. Like filming was kind of like that, except for when you bail, you're like, let me go do that again. But since you're approaching it that way, you're kind of getting stuff happening pretty quick. I know shit that I want to do, and I just go and get it. And I don't, I'm like, that's what I want to do. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Or unless you're on a trip and you're like, fuck, you know, you're in a different environment where you fucking st stuff pops up. And you're like, all right, I think I can do that.